What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Live is coming at you with another new video. I hope you're all doing great out there. Let me know how you're doing in the chat or the comments. You having a good day? You having a bad day? And if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. So get started right now. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and tap that notification bell. Set it to all so you're always notified when I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump into this triple Lindy Thornton Melon style. Let's end the cringe and jump into the email. So this is kind of an update, but a new case with DoorDash. I feel a good customer got banned. That's from Dewey, if you guys remember Dewey. Okay, so he goes, hey Pete, so this time it's on an order that says leave at door. Okay, and we know how many problems can happen with this. As I have stated before, I record all my deliveries, but still have not got me a body cam as of yet, looking at different models that will fit in my shirt pocket and clip on. But this time I have video proof as well. So in the delivery instructions, it states my house has no numbers and this type of car is in the yard. So they're giving a description. So I already look at map at the map and count houses from the, from the nearest cross street. Most of the time it's dead on. As I'm pulling up, I already have a video recording and I get out, grab the food and make my way to the front door. And I sit the food down by the door and take a picture. Now, I am not going to include the video in this because I don't want it to show anything personal of the customer or anything, but it, it's like one of those email, uh, not emails, one of those videos where it's just like vertical and it's just, you know, bouncing around and everything, but you can still see the house and things like that. So just keep that in mind. Uh, so I take the picture, I complete the delivery. 10 minutes later, my phone is blowing up with wrong door, wrong door, wrong door. I'm assuming text messages. I said I followed the instructions and delivered to the correct address. I quit communicating with the customer and called DoorDash, which is always the right thing to do. Let DoorDash be the one to handle the customer, okay? Especially when it's a confrontation. Um, da -da -da, okay, they sent me an email right away and I went home, I grabbed the video, picture of the door, and I decided to go to Google Maps, type the address in, take a screenshot of Street View and sent the email, which is a really good idea. I like that, Dewey. Uh, I called DoorDash back and they verified, yes, I indeed delivered to the correct address because they matched the video to Street View. They told me most likely they will ban the customer. I'm just sharing these pictures with you so you can see, and I will send the video, but it may be a, uh, a link. And I know you do Grubhub. I had a problem earlier. They sent me an offer for 12 bucks. When I get to the restaurant, it's two people, was not worth it. Uh, and again, I'm not showing these images in the video for personal reasons. Now. Here's where I have a smidge of a disagreement because you said, I feel a good customer got banned. Not necessarily, okay? First and foremost, the person didn't have a number on the house and I'm not saying they're a bad person because of that, of, of course, that doesn't make sense. Just in general, in, in a day and age when we are literally ordering Amazon like every day and food delivery and stuff, you should have a number on your house at this point. You know what I mean? You could literally go to Home Depot or like like a Walgreens sometimes or a, or a hardware store and they have the numbers to, to put on your house. They're not expensive, you know? But the part where the person's like, wrong address, wrong address, wrong address, or wrong house, wrong house, wrong house. It sounds to me like they're scamming the system. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like the fraud, okay? Because when you went onto Google Maps, which by the way, was extremely clever, and I would urge and encourage anybody else to do the same because they're not gonna lie to you, okay? It's literally a satellite image, and it's an image from when the car drives by uh, down the street. You ever see those Google cars with the camera on top of them? I see them all the time in my area. Anyway. Uh, the fact that DoorDash even verified that you delivered to the correct house, that's all that matters. So maybe DoorDash is actually taking the advice that I suggested a while back saying we need to start banning customers that are scamming the system. So Dewey, you did nothing wrong. You went over and above to try and make this delivery happen and you did it correctly, okay? 
So when this customer started saying wrong, oh no, wrong door, wrong door, wrong door. That to me sounds like they're trying to scam the system. Because like I said, when you showed the proof, DoorDash even agreed with you and said, you did it right, we'll handle it from here. So Dewey, I applaud you, good job covering yourself. And that's too bad for the customer, okay? The fact of the matter is they are ordering food, like I said, they don't, they conveniently don't have a number on the house, so it makes it hard for you to do your job, okay? Then they're saying, wrong door, wrong door. Something doesn't add up here, okay? So with that being said, everybody, in the chat, in the comments, do you think this customer deserves to be banned or not? Does it sound like fraud? I think it does. I think it does, and I think they've done this before, okay? Because it was, it was too convenient the way they described the house and this and that. I'm not buying it. So... If you guys ever want to send me anything for a video, a question, whatever, uh, do what Dewey did. Do what Dewey did. <laughs> uh, the Dewey Decimal System. No. Uh, pay to drive stories at gmail.com is the best place to reach me. Or you guys can always reach out and send a message through Patreon at patreon.com slash pay to drive for a quicker response. Link is in the description or in the pin top comment if you want to sign up on there. Anyone who signs up, I give you guys shout outs in all new videos. I'm going to do that right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. A big shout out to our $100 ultimate driver, Ari Rosenbaum. Extremely grateful for you. And I'm also extremely grateful for all of my other patrons like Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan. Fresh one, Jason Casta, uh, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bass, Ginny Thomas, <coughs> excuse me, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. Huge shout outs to all of you. And, uh, Thank you so much for signing up if you want to sign up down below. And of course, please, everybody, make sure you are on the free gas app called Get Upside. It's a free app for your smartphone to save money at the gas pump. So all you do, it's very, very simple. Click the link at the bottom of the description down below this video. Click show more. Go to the bottom. Download it to your smartphone. Go to your gas station. Pump your gas. Print out your receipt. Take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app. And within 48 hours or so, You'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Please make sure to download it. And of course, everybody, if you want one of these awesome Live to Drive, Drive to Live t-shirts, one of our top sellers, you can get this one and many other designs at paytodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale every single day. Lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it. Get your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. And if you made it to the end of this video, you should know what to do by now. Leave a comment saying END 715, END 715. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always up to date and notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, please hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So with that being said, until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and of course, Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one.